Hey everybody, Jess here, and I wanted to do a little video for those of you who have been asking questions about my upcoming light language activation that is on December 20th. First of all, um, it's not so much an activation as it is, I would say, an integration. And it's really about getting in the body and breaking up the old memories and energy in motion, emotion of grief. Now what's grief? Loss right? Loss of time, loss of freedom, loss of people, loss of space, loss of hope and dreams, right? Whatever we do not process through integration or turning it into alchemization of something else, it stays in the body. Now, we cannot move forward to the new threshold of the new dimensional space with grief because it's a counter opposite of love. So we've got to get rid of, we got to get in there and we got to clean out and integrate grief. Whatever's left on the timeline, past, present, future, we want to literally nip it all in the bud and integrate it into light, love, excitement, joy, peace, abundance, freedom. We can turn it into that because we are the alchemist, but it has to be done through intentional integration. Okay, so this particular light language is all based in the integration of grief release. And we're going to be working with our kidney grief, which is fear, our kidney grief, um, our anger that is lodged in the liver, which is anger of grief, grief of anger, right? And, and we're going to be looking at the suppression that is caught up in the lungs, the respiratory area that's blocking the heart from moving up into the throat chakra. And we're also going to be really, really working on that gut area and that hip area, like those hips. I keep seeing this in my sessions, hips, hips, stuck, stuck, contracted. Shoulders, shoulders, right? So we're gonna be getting in there. Now, what is light language? Light language is frequency healing, okay? And it's done in particular tones and sounds that bypass the ego's wall, right? There's a lot of words that are triggering and the ego, ego will shut you down if you say things that kind of go against its belief system. But light language bypasses the ego and it also bypasses time and space and it gets in and around. So we're gonna be using that as our main tool and we're gonna call this integration the softening. We're gonna move from rigid ice holding on to everything so tight we're removing into that malleability of change and allowing that uncertainty to be exciting and allowing all of those opportunities right for you to not feel so overwhelmed by or worried because you may not have the abundance of freedom to lock into them yet because you will you will have all of that all right and make space for all new you so, very exciting times. I hope you guys join me for this light language integration. And it is December 20th, perfect one day before the threshold change. 5D, grand opening, December 21st, 2021. Next year, 22, the catch 22. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't next year. So you might as well choose yourself, choose love, right? And choose to let go of what you're not needing, what's not serving you. You do not need to hold on to old failures and relationships and things because you think that it's going to protect you from doing it again. We can let that go. You've learned the lessons. The karmic energy of Neptune is back through the retrogression, has gone direct. And now we're going to be moving into this clean, subtle energy and it's a really great opportunity for us to come in with a clean slate, with wisdom, with gratitude, with appreciation, and space. So I hope you guys join me. Details are found on my website, www.jessicaallstrom.com. Look for the light language activation. It's really an integration. And I will see you guys December 20th.